Oh. Hey. You seem like you just spawned in. Well, welcome back to another Unturned video. Hunter and Console just dropped a new update, patched to be more specific, and well, let's take a little look and see what's inside of it, shall we? The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I will be home for a couple of days, wonder around with you. But before I start, let me just update those who are unaware of what's been happening with Unturned on console, just in general. Uh, that way we are just all on the same page. For all my newcomers, Unturned is a survival game that's been around on PC ever since 2014. And it is a free to play um, game, by the way. Over the course of some years, they decided to port Unturned over to the console world due to Unturned on PC being a great success thanks to Nelson himself, who is the heart of Unturned. And so it dropped on Xbox and PlayStation 4 around November of 2020. When Unturned on console was finally released, the game had some minor issues and it didn't perform great but it was certainly playable. The development team that worked on Unturned back then uh, was terrible and it felt like as if they were just forced to work on the game altogether. Passion was not there whatsoever, or so it seemed. Expecting fun labs to do and fix anything about the game was pretty much an impossible task to wish for. They were not responsive, communication was not there whatsoever, and the only thing that kept the game active quite literally were the content creators and the original players that play Unturned since day one. Despite the fact that Unturned on console performed like dog shit, excuse my language, 505 Games decided to announce a DLC which ended up being a free expansion for all Unturned players on console. And I'm certainly glad it was a free expansion because otherwise I'd just lose my mind. The expansion ended up being an Elver update uh, which has been delayed once and as soon as it was officially released around September, it broke the game and nor was it finished on its own. Tons of sound was missing, many returning PS4 players suffered from a terrible frame drop. I mean, we're talking about having frames between 5 and 6, and that's on PlayStation 4, and it was absolutely terrible. Then months later, on turn on console on Twitter went completely silent, and ironically, prior to Elver Update, they promoted Elver Expansion quite a lot, and most importantly, they were very responsive on Twitter. I just think after they realized the Elver dog shit update 2.0, excuse my language, once again, completely ruined the game, they had no other option but to go completely radio silent from the community. Could you just imagine how frustrated the community was? And to be clear with you guys, Elver expansion is very good on PC and it should have been on console, but unfortunately that's not what happened, not on the console side of things. Then months later, they appear to be on Twitter stating that they've been having some issues with their development process and they ended up swapping in on development teams completely, pretty much opening up and saying that the future content update Dates will come from a whole different development team altogether. Fun Labs ended up leaving the console version of Unturned and Cradle Games took over digging up their <clears throat> poop. Then sometime later, Cradle Games ended up releasing an update for Unturned to sort of put their foot in the door, so to speak. And it was their first, very, very first initial attempt to flip the game, or at least they initiated to. However, it didn't really do anything to the players as far as them starting to enjoy the game altogether. At that point, so many players, including the content creators themselves, abandoned the game and moved elsewhere. And you really can't blame them, can you? Now, as of last week, we had received yet another update, except this time it's from Cradle Games once again, and Fun Labs is no longer around, and here's what happened on Twitter. Quote, as you might know, we have been looking into improving the console experience for Unturned and in the long run. 
We keep encountering situations that make us change our focus. We were made aware to our server middleware solution was not going to be supported anymore, and therefore we had to look for a new one and adjust to it. The time to implement this new solution has come and it will require resetting the current servers, meaning that the process made on an online server may be lost due to this procedure. This procedure will take place by the end of September of 2022. We are very sorry for the inconvenience, but there is currently no other way to resolve this issue. From today, a new patch will be available to improve localization on Xbox, which will arrive later on PlayStation 2. We are working on the bugs you have reported to us since the last update, and we are planning some fix patches before considering further steps. We are still in the fight, the unturned team. Now, to give you a perspective as to how truly broken the game really is on the console, let me just read this Twitter for you that's been made quite a bit ago. Some of the recent changes Cradle Team has delivered to improve the experience include the addition to the Elver update, UI improvements, weapon adjustments, and more than, mark my words, 500 plus bugs fix. Um, listen guys, I am not a rocket scientist, but I can guarantee you that's a huge number. Now, this statement was captured from Cradle Games, which was their very first initiative to fix the game. Obviously, all of us and even Cradle Games themselves already knew that the work will have to be a lot more significant in order to even slightly tell the difference with Unturned, but they were ready for a fight, regardless. Now, I don't know what they fixed and how much more they're willing to put up with, but there is a significant amount of things that still begs for attention, even to this day. As of the recent update, the game is back to being in the playable state, which is a huge plus, honestly. And I consider that a huge improvement on the Cradles games' part because Fun Labs truly screwed this game up pretty bad. I just think when it comes to Fun Labs, there eyes were bigger than their stomach. Uh, they failed on turn and it had a huge impact on the game, let alone community. Now, as of the recent update, I will say that the game's performance is back to stable. The game runs smoother than it has ever been. Now, it's probably not great in comparison to other games, however, if we speak on turned, then yes, it's certainly a huge improvement and I will give Cradle Games some props on making the game stand on its own to feed back again. As of this update, you can now tell if your car is being locked or not. That's something that's been never there and it's been missing for a while. The game on PS5 seems very smooth and stable. My frame rate is completely smooth and so it appears to be on PlayStation 4 or so I hear. It seems like in order to keep this game in stable state, they had to remove a lot of trees from the map, which is very common in games nowadays. A lot of games that suffer with the huge frame drop, they have to remove a lot of objects from the game itself, uh, which is not the most ideal way of solving issues or things, I guess, but it's just, it is definitely one of the steps to initiate when it comes to a huge frame loss. The text now has a shine to it and it glows and you can also change the color of it. In the previous version of Unturned, the text was not applicable. They also fixed the trees. In the previous version, some trees appear to be lifted up from the ground. It's now back to being attached to the ground. Very nice. The water in Germany seems to need some fixing as well. The water in Germany is flickering. Wooden walls are still broken to this day. All of the ramp walls appear to be walls. The claim flags are broken when you're salvaging things, you seem to run out of stamina until you lose it completely. Now that doesn't seem to happen in my case on PlayStation 5, however, it's a thing on PS4 or I've been informed of. I'm sure there are still a significant amount of things that require attention at the moment, but at the end of the day, this update is only a couple days old, and I'm sure everything there is to know about it will be soon revealed. Overall, I am impressed with Unturned's current performance, I just hope they keep them coming. Is this game currently playable? Yes, very much so. Was this update worth 7-8 months of a wait time? Um, no, I don't think so. Now, understandably, it wasn't their mess to dig up, and that's why I respect Cradle Games to begin with. Cradle Games, we are truly sorry that you had to deal with all this mess. Quite frankly, we hate it too. But once again, props to managing it and pulling it through. Currently, I suggest picking up Unturned on PC, because it is, once again, free to play. Nelson, who's the main face of Unturned, is a very passionate man. And from experience, passion beats the full-time employee all the time. Now, personally, yourself, if you found any issues with the game that I have not mentioned yet, feel free to leave them down below. I'm sure it will help so many people a ton. Consider it. Uh, 
I'm sure I probably missed quite a bit. We're just still testing things out. And honestly, sometimes I'm just afraid that there's going to be a shit ton of more issues um, and disappointments down the road. So um, I don't want to get attached to it once again. But um, yeah, definitely let me know if I missed anything. This was your boy Roos and I'm out. Goodbye.